pound on it. Come on, Jay, you're not supposed to be in there. Get out of there. Get out of there, Jay. Grab his hand, Jimmy. Frank, look at his battery. Come on, Jay. Hmm. It's pretty good. Thumbs are pointing down, go whoop, and they point up. <laughs> yeah, but from up here, it's really funny. <laughs> All right. All right, let's teach you a trick. Teach you a trick. See, most magicians don't do that. Most magicians, they just astound you, and then you leave, and that's all. I, Zoltan, will be different. I will teach you a little trick that you can do, take home with you, a good trick. This is what you get for being here first. Now then, a quick note about this trick. Uh, you don't need to be wearing a shirt. I am wearing a shirt, and you should, need, you should wear a shirt. I apologize. You don't need to be wearing pants. I wear tights, because they make me feel sexy. <laughs> Good, I'm entertaining the small prepubescent girls, lovely. Um, <laughs> are you legal in this state? Well then, you are. <laughs> I keep forgetting, it's the deep south. Um, <laughs> uh, and I'm wearing a jerkin, this is a, uh, this is a jerkin. I don't need to be wearing a jerkin to do this trick. In fact, I prefer not to do this trick with my jerkin on. Rather than having my jerkin on, I will be doing this trick with my jerkin <laughs> Uh, next party you attend, go to the drink area, obtain a plastic glass. Take the plastic glass, place it unobtrusively under the arm. Hold the arm in a natural position so no one knows it's there. Then start a conversation. Hello, how are you? Fine. Fine. Have you been to the show before? Yes, you have. This show or the whole festival? Festival. The whole festival. Have you seen my show before? No. So you're sort of like a Zoltan virgin. <laughs> yes, all right. <laughs> Something I wanted to. T oh, wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. My grandmother loved that. She loved that trick. Man, when we got our heart started again, she laughed. <laughs> I give you that one for free. All right. Let us do. Yeah, you people in the back, sit, sit. You'll enjoy it more. <laughs> Let us do the audience warm-up exercise. The audience warm-up exercise. Easy to do. I will say a word. You, as the audience, will repeat it. The first word is danger. Danger. Oh, come on. It's already noon. You can give me more love than that. The second word is excitement. Excitement. That's better. The third word is magic. Magic. And the last word is ooh. Ooh. Again, danger. Danger. Excitement. Excitement. Magic. Magic. Ooh. Ooh. Boy, I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, you, sir, you're like really moving your lips like that much. It's like this little look. These people are actually shouting, but no, not you, huh? Oh, look at me. I got sunglasses. I'm a big guy. I'll sit in the back. I don't have to do damn words. <laughs> I understand, sir. Perhaps you're not inspired. I will seek to inspire you. I will stand here. <laughs> and if that's not inspiring enough, if you're not loud enough, I will stand here. <laughs> we hope it doesn't come to that, don't we? <laughs> All right. I will stand here. We will do it one more time to prove my love and my, you know, part of the audience kind of thing. I will actually shout right along with you. Let's do it one more time for sunglasses. Hey, you hey, suck! Over there! Come on over here! We got a show with danger! Danger! danger. And back with excitement! Excitement! Some of the world's greatest magic! Magic! magic. Another Nick.
nifty stuff. And another nifty stuff. Come on, Dad, here anyway. You, sir, come with me. Yes, you. Yes, you. Come with me. <laughs> Give him a hand. Bring him up on stage. There we go. Hello? Stand here. All right, nice. What is your name, sir? Speak into the nipple. Kevin. Kevin. <laughs> is that good for you, Kevin? Yes. <laughs> Kevin, you're going to help me out with a card trick. Have you ever done a card trick before, Kevin? Yes, I have. Yes, you have. Great. Let's see it. <laughs> called your bluff, didn't I, Kevin? Yes. Anything to get on stage. I know. Kevin, we're going to do a card trick. A card trick so amazing, so intense, it may change your political views. Do you have political views, Kevin? I do. You do? Who'd you vote for in the last election? Didn't matter, did it? All right. I'm a Canadian. I can make these jokes. All right. Kevin, I will run to the deck. You, as the helpful volunteer, will say stop anywhere you like. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I run to the deck. You say stop. Stop. Stop there? Yep. I can go forward. I can go backward. Stop right there. Take the card. Oop. Take it. There it is. Don't show it to me. Stare at it intently. Memorize it. Kevin, show the card to the people on that side of the crowd. Show it to the people on that side of the crowd. Show it to the satellite cameras for the folks watching across the nation. <laughs> Kevin, take one last look. Let it beat a tattoo on your cerebellum. I'm coming back. Kevin, take the card, put it back anywhere in the deck, anywhere at all. Good choice, Kevin. <laughs> Everyone see where it says sucker right across the <laughs> That's all right, Kevin. Kevin, take the deck. We're going to teach you a little something about the art of card manipulation. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. Kevin, take the deck and hold it thusly. Very nice. <laughs> That's right, Kevin. You and me, we're like two big male ballerinas. Poetry of, poetry of song. All right, Kevin. Kevin, take the deck and cut it thusly. <laughs> All in the knees, Kevin. Balance in the knees. There it is. <laughs> Complete the cut. Nicely done. <laughs> Kevin, take the deck. Barishnikov, eager heart out. Kevin, take the deck and cut it thusly. <laughs> now, Kevin, I, every, every volunteer for the last four years has used that. <laughs> and you, man, the camera's right beside you. What are you doing? The camera's right there. Don't forget about that. You don't want these. All right, Kevin. Here, give her a good one, Kevin. <laughs> there it is. That's like a get out of jail free card, you know? <laughs> Kevin, take the deck. Give it an overhand shuffle. Should be no problem for a man of your obvious dexterity. <laughs> Nicely done. Sorry, right, Kevin, from now on, they will call you Big Deck Kevin. It's like that close, isn't it, ma'am? All right. Kevin, take the deck. Give it a riffle shuffle. Should be no problem for a man of your obvious wit. <laughs> <laughs> Try to work him up to this. That's where we're going. That's where we're going. Okay, I'll entertain the crowd, Kevin. <laughs> Nicely done. <laughs> and one of these, all right, Kevin. Kevin, is your card lost within the very bowels of the deck itself? I'm sure it is. You're sure it is. Did you know that decks have bowels? Decks do have bowels. Listen. I've <laughs> <laughs> been doing magic for 20 years, Kevin. That's the only joke my dad laughs at. Isn't <laughs> right, Kevin, your card lost within the very bowels of the deck. I, the magician, shall reach into the deck, find the card you selected at random, shuffle into the deck. I will produce it. It will be so amazing. The audience will rise as one and buy us free beer. Are you ready, Kevin? <laughs> Thought you might be. Here we go. Kevin, is that your card? No. 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 Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> that would be cool if I got it. Would that be cool? Yeah. <laughs> Kevin, I'm sorry, Kevin. I'm a magician. Kevin, is that the card? No. no. Okay, now you're just getting on my nerves. That's <laughs> uh, so, all right, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just having a little fun with you all. Of course, I know what Kevin's card is. Of course, I know from the very moment Kevin stepped on stage, I knew this would be your card. No. no. Shut up. <laughs> that it? That it? That it? <laughs> no. See when you like. <laughs> Got it? You happy now, Kevin? You happy? Nice hey, job shuffling! <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Kevin on the wall, here I am a board over top of the board, there was a cloth. If your card were to appear on the board behind the cloth, would that be amazing? That would be amazing. Kevin, if your card were on the board behind the cloth, would that be brilliant? Brilliant. Brilliant. Kevin, if your card were on the board behind the cloth, would you be so amazed and so impressed? 
you would buy a Zoltan t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> the wife says no. And Karen, how different would your life be if you actually had a spine? All right. <laughs> they love how you buy the front side, I'll throw on the back spine. side for free. <laughs> but nice, Kevin, just for you, I'll throw on the back side for free. All right, Kevin. Kevin, your card on the wall, on the board behind the clock. Kevin, are you ready? Kevin! Is it there? <laughs> Get him over there, Kevin. Give me a hand. Get him on my stage. <laughs> It will get better! Right there. <laughs> Pretty much has to, doesn't it? All right, ladies and gentlemen, that was just a warm-up. Let's begin the actual show. Ladies and gentlemen, in order to fully, absolutely, and completely enjoy my show, you must learn a single basic phrase. I will say the phrase, you all will repeat it. You hear that, sunglasses? <laughs> I can still come back there. All right. The phrase is, no, just adequate. Say it now. No, no just adequate. adequate. For example, am I not the most handsome man you have ever seen? No, no just adequate. adequate. Will this not be the greatest show you have ever seen? No, no just adequate. adequate. Does the guy in the back not have the keenest fashion sense you have ever seen? No, no just adequate. adequate. That's what you get, sunglasses. <laughs> and news you, we'll be coming back to you all show. Pick on your fashion sense. Fighting words in Canada. Yeah. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin the actual show for this trick. I will need the assistance of... Hey, you people at home. <laughs> hey, you lazy couch potatoes. Hey, come here in person, all right? Give this man a 20 for letting you watch this tape. Oh! I will need the assistance of... <laughs> I will need this little kitty right over here. Yes, you, my dear. Give her a hand, bring her up on stage. Oh, wait. There it is. Come with me. There we go. Come this way. Look, the applause didn't even last till you got to the stairs. <laughs> Everybody right here. Come this way. Come this way. Come this way. Give us a twirl. Rock. Okay, I'll tell you again. Give us a twirl. There it is. Come on back. <laughs> Nicely done. There it is. What is your name, my dear? Speaking to the nipple. Tara. Tara. <laughs> and what do you do, Tara? Um, oh. um. <laughs> the, the, the suspense. I'm all dizzy now. Tara. <laughs> all right, Tara, what we are going to do for the love, for the excitement of the crowd, Tara, we are going to lock you inside this set of handcuffs and see how long it takes you to escape. Ooh. The crowd is totally into this, Tara. <laughs> all right. Hey, what, Tara? Let me ask you, what is your best time escaping from a pair of handcuffs? Never done it. Never done it. Tara, what's the best time you've ever had staying in a pair of handcuffs? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. She's legal. Tara, take, take the cuffs. <laughs> Examine the cuffs. Make sure they are real and solid in all ways. Make sure there are no trapdoors, hidden wires, flying ladies, or mechanical devices. This is the only set of keys. They go into the bucket. Tara, are they a standard set of magician's handcuffs? Yep, like you know, right? Like you <laughs> Tara, come here. Take the lock. You are going to lock me into the cuffs. Feel free to go high up on the chain, Tara. Go to the second or third link. Feel free to <laughs> cut into my flesh, making it red and raw. <laughs> Just the way I like it. There you go, Tara. Wow, you have done this before. There you go, Tara, one more time. Don't be afraid to hurt me, Tara. Don't be afraid to injure me just like every other woman.